Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to take this uh, hanging basket and make it have strawberries on the sides and maybe maybe at the bottom. I'm not sure yet. I've got 11 strawberry plants uh, that are starts from one of my bigger strawberry plants from last year. So we're just going to take some scissors and cut holes where the strawberry plants will go. strawberries down here and flowers on the top. So I poke my scissors through and kind of cut and then I'm just gonna do a st and like an X just to encourage it to open up. Okay and then you can see I've got a pretty good size hole there. I think I can get the plant to go through there just fine. It feels kind of wasteful or destructive to be chopping up this really nice hanging basket like this, but I think it's going to use my space the best and I'm going to be growing everything I'm in containers this year. So. Okay, so I've taken some rose sand, all-purpose rose sand, and mixed it about half and half with potting soil and I'm just mixing it up in a little bit. So I'll show you what this looks like. This is going to make some nice sandy soil for these strawberries. That The strawberries should like the, the well-drained sandy soil. So now I'm going to scoop that into this planter um, just a little bit and then I'm going to um, start putting my strawberries in before I fill it. Okay. This chain's going to be kind of a pain, but I can't get it off, so <laughs> I guess I probably could if I worked at it, but I'm not going to. I have a little bit of soil in there, now it's time to get these strawberries ready. Now they're not very healthy right now, but I'm confident I can get them happy. Um, they've got quite a few dead leaves, they're probably very root bound. Um, I kind of didn't think I was going to plant these. <laughs> so. Let's take a look at what we have here. I don't know if you can see that the sun's kind of blocking your view there. These are some little starts that I got off of the mother plant. So I'm just gonna kind of pull this away. Let's see. I don't want to make a big mess on the ground here. I'm just going to pull these dead leaves off and I'm going to get this uh, kind of down to the root ball mostly because I want it to be in the sandy soil, not this whatever it's in right now. Alright, so the pots are empty now. I've made a great big mess right over here uh, taking weeds and extra roots and all of the clay soil and, and leftover potting soil that's old and doesn't have any nutrition left and I have put the little strawberry starts in here. They're already looking so much better. Um, I don't know for sure how well they'll grow but they've definitely got some pretty intense roots. Um, I've tried to make sure they're not root bound anymore and we will go ahead and stick these guys in their little homes. So my gloves are pretty much soaking wet and useless at this point, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and stick these into these little holes that we've made. So I'll stuff this guy in here. Just like that. Okay, so it's very important that the crown of the strawberry plant is not buried. That's the mistake that I used to always make with my strawberries, 
and they never did any good because of it. So make sure that this part of the plant stays above the soil. You probably want it to be about right there. So I push the leaves through and then I just tuck these little corners kind of back behind the crown. Okay, so now that we have all these little guys in here, we have to decide which flowers we want to put up on top. And um, first I'm going to cover them up with this sandy soil. All right, so here she is, all finished. Strawberries out the sides. Um, nice big flower and a petunia on top and now I just need to hang it up and hope the deer don't get to it.